Hey there, this is Derek Murphy at Creativity.com. Today I'm trying to finish a novel for novel, uh, National Novel Writing Month, and I got distracted with that and started procrastinating with a complete website redesign. I haven't updated my blog for like 10 years, and it's actually getting a lot of traffic right now. Um, so I looked into and found a WordPress template that I think I'm going to try to use. Um, it's a little bit similar, but mostly it's just cleaner and more modern. Um, so it's got this logo up here that's a typographic font-based letter. This is probably one PNG, so it's got the yellow splash behind it. Um, and then this is just a font. So my current website, I have this giant logo that I made. Uh, it's one big JPEG. I did all the text and everything, even the call to action, the button that you click is just one big picture, um, which obviously isn't great, but I've always, you know, it's fine. It's been working for a long time. Um, but I'm going to try to make a little typographic logo. So let me show you a really cool, fun trick. Um, I usually would do this in Photoshop, but if I want to test out a lot of different fonts quickly, I can go over here to Creative Market, which has a lot of fonts. Um, I can choose the type of font that I'm looking for. I'm looking for um, handwritten fonts. And then I can preview my own text. So I've typed in Creative Indie here, which is my brand name. And now when I scroll down, I can see a preview of all of the different fonts. And if I see any that I like, I can just go up here and screenshot um, this as a picture. So even when I'm setting up that new theme, I just have to install on my website and set it up. It'll ask me to upload a, a logo. Um, I can just test a lot of these out. I could even screenshot one of these and use it as a logo. But um, if you find the font that you're going to use, you should go back and buy the font because otherwise you don't have the rights or the permission to use it. Um, and you could add something a little more fancy, you know, a splash of color or something if you wanted in Photoshop. But if you're just going for like a typographic logo, this is a really easy way to preview very quickly what all of these things could look like. Um, and like I mentioned, you could just, you know, screenshot um, any one of these and save it as a little JPEG. I'm not sure if that's going to work because I'm recording it at the same time. It's probably going to mess something up. Um, but I could just save one of these as a JPEG and upload it right into my WordPress dashboard and then see sort of how it's going to look. And then I can come back and play with, you know, a real one and buy the font and do it in Photoshop or even in, you know, if you don't have Photoshop, you can buy the font and open it up in Microsoft Word, type out what you want in Microsoft Word, even play with the colors in Microsoft Word, and then just screenshot that picture in Microsoft Word. Um, and that'll work. That'll work fine for graphic design. So this is Creative Market. I also can do something pretty similar um, over here on Graphic River. They also have fonts. They have some pretty cool handwritten fonts. So... Um, the preview is not showing up for me right now, but normally this preview would look the same. I can't go and like scroll through every font that they have like I can for um, Creative Market, which is pretty amazing because it saves me so much time. I can just go through the pages and like look at all the fonts. Um, in Graphic River, I would have to click on the font, type in the, the word, and then see how it pops up in the preview. Um, so it looks like this. It's not really working very well. There it is. So it kind of works. Anyway, hopefully this is just a short little video about how you can make a typographic font. Um, it might save you some time if you're you know, not a designer and you're just looking for a cheap and easy way to figure this out on your own. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.